Jägermeister has been a strong supporter of country music, and last year's tour with Randy Hauser and Rick Monroe was a huge hit. This year, Rick is hitting the road again with Aaron Lewis, with Jaeger signed on as tour sponsor. We had a chance to sit down with Rick at Two Old Hippies here in Nashville to talk about the tour and his new single, Just the Same. Here's Kelly with more. Rick Monroe, we are here today. What a great place to have an interview and like covered up in guitars. How cool is this? Uh, this is great. Two Old Hippies has got a great selection of guitars and uh, you know, I think it's pretty appropriate since I'll be doing a lot of acoustic playing. So. Yes. Now speaking of that, fifth tour, you guys are getting ready to go out. Jägermeister, you are the Jägermeister guy. I mean, this is awesome. So everybody make sure you can go out on the road, find these guys. Now in this tour pretty much, you've obviously been inv involved for like five years. It's the fifth one, right? Yes. And is it all over the United States? Where? Um, the dates basically range from, um, we're going all the way from New York down into uh, Georgia and across. Furthest west we're going about is Wichita, but obviously you can go online and see all the dates at rickmonroe.com. A plug, sorry. How <laughs> fun, how fun is this? Because I know there must be stories. I mean, you've been out. Who are some of the other artists that have done this with you in the past and, and this year who's doing it? Um, well, the first tour I did was uh, Pat Green and Randy Hauser. And uh, the second one was Josh Thompson and uh, Eric Church. The, the third one was uh, Dirk Bentley and Josh Thompson. Then I went out with Randy Hauser, and now this is Aaron Lewis is headlining. Wow, we love Aaron Lewis. What a great tour that'll be. So, and you're going to play acoustically on this? Yeah, I'm the acoustic opener. It's basically, it's he and I, and I, there'll be some special guests and different people coming and going, but you know, he kind of loves to kind of have the acoustic thing going, and, and I'm glad you said that because I've never met him. So, oh, uh, like so I've heard a lot of really good things about him, so I'm excited. Super talented, and just his songs are really, they're just real. They're great. So you guys will be awesome together. Now, speaking of real, do you have something for your fans to look at where you, is it like a teaser that you go and film and evidently your dog Gator is pretty involved? I've heard about this. What's going on? Uh, it's the sneak peek. I have a YouTube channel and so you go to um, youtube.com slash Rick Monroe and it's just every week pretty much I'll put up a new song and part of a new song or something if I just had written it and um, yeah, just do a little sneak peek of it, a little verse and a chorus, just enough to, you know, let you see what it's about. But yeah, my dog tends to end up becoming like the star of it. She'll come in and sit and watch or jump on the bed or whatever. It's always it's like you have no idea. Nothing rich, nothing You also have a new single yes. that you wrote. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. Uh, the new single is just the same. And um, we, uh, I mean, the song is basically that you're going to love somebody throughout time no matter what. And whatever happens and whatever comes and goes, you're just going to just keep loving them. And uh, that was the premise. And the video, I think, uh, really captured that. A guy named Mike Stryker shot it. And I'm really excited. And that's coming out soon. Let the hands of time catch right up to you pretty much write a lot, and I guess you show that. Like you said, you play a chorus and a verse and film it, and people can sort of just come right on into the house and see Gator and uh, yep. all the little incidents going on with Rick Monroe. Yeah, well, we try to, yeah, I try to keep it pretty informal. Like I said, it's pretty quick. It's just uh, to give everybody a taste, because a lot of times we write songs you know, all the time, and you, some songs never see the light of day. I think this is a nice way to show something that maybe the publisher didn't pick or that somebody didn't quite pick up that I, I think is a, a valid song. And so, and if people really love it, they can always comment or like it, or at least you can get some feedback. And that's the best thing with the internet now is you can get so much feedback because Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I mean, I'm on all those and it's such a good connection. Don't hide your face from the morning sun. I love you just the same with no makeup on it. Are there any backstories from maybe years in the past that you've gone with Dirks or Randy that you guys, uh, you know, stayed up late writing a song or anything cool that we don't know about? Um, uh, let's see. I mean, there's a lot of stories, but most of them you still want to tell. But no. Um, actually, one of the cool things was we were finishing up the tour, and uh, it was with Eric Church's guys, and I used to go out. And besides opening the show, I'd go and also like try to rev the crowd up, and I'd play a song. I think I'd play like family tradition or something just to get everybody singing. 
and his band would come and kind of like quietly tune behind me. But the very last show, I start playing it, and the whole band broke into it. And so it was kind of cool. I turn around, and it's like Eric's band. And they were great because they were like, well, we really don't play for anybody else except for the Chiefs. So, and I thought that was, that was like one of those kind of, I was like, wow, that was, that was pretty cool. You don't have to hide those kids all Congratulations on everything. Make sure you check out his website. Find out where they're going to be with the Jägermeister tour. Check out his new single, his video, Mr. Rick Monroe. Make sure to catch the action on the new Jaeger Country Tour before it wraps June 23rd in Evansville, Indiana. That's not all the great music we have for you on today's Inside Music Row. We've got an artist coming up next that's into the mudding lifestyle. Make sure to come on back right after this.